Morning. How are y'all doing today? Uh, it's good to see you. Uh, it's a chilly morning, but it's a good morning. Uh, and we've got one tree in our neighborhood that's starting to change colors, maybe two. Um, and it's just a, a nice time of the year. I love watching the trees change colors. I love driving up to the mountains one weekend and just looking at everything up there because it's a little prettier up in Nashville than it is down here sometimes. Uh, but yeah, I'm just I'm just excited about this time, and I I think it's just a nice way to um, remember that as the year goes on, the seasons change, and you know creation changes, and every day is a new day. I don't know. It's a it's a good way to um, to remember what's ahead, and to maybe re-energize some of our hope. Uh, unless you don't like the winter and you're waiting for summer and then you got a little longer of a wait. <laughs> but the fall is at least a beautiful time, even if uh, it's an in-between between a season that you love and a season that you hate. But uh, let's pray and then let's hop into a devotion. Um, not a lot of insight to share today, but I just want to I want to read a psalm and, and think about... Um, just how fickle faith can be sometimes, or at least feel, uh, and and just talk about that for a little bit. But let's pray, and then let's hop into this devotion. Lord God, thank you for this morning. Thank you for the birds of the air and the, the chill in the air. Uh, thank you for all that you do in our lives to uh, remind us that you are here with us. We ask that you be with us here this morning and throughout the day as we always are trying to discern your, uh, your will for our lives and your will for our every day, our every second of every day. How can we best follow you um, in this moment? So we ask for your spirit to guide us, to fill us up with courage and joy and peace and hope and faith and all the good things. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So yesterday I was uh, mowing my grass and uh, my neighbor from across the way yelled and said, this might be the last time you have to mow this year. Uh, and I'm not so sure about that. I think the weather, it's at least going to rain this weekend, I think, and then the weather is going to be um, enough to, to grow the grass one more time, at least one more time. Um, so we'll see. And October is always a weird one anyway. You never know if it's going to be hot or cold, uh, sunny or, or cloudy. So we'll see. Um, but there are not many mows left this year so he's right about that and uh and i i don't know i have mixed feelings about that because i i really enjoy mowing it's one of the things that i like to do um i don't know exactly what it is but there's there's instant gratification right you you know where you mowed and where you haven't mowed um the tall grass goes away instantly and so you, your, my yard looks pristine this morning, um, and we'll see how long it takes for it to, to start raggeding up a little bit, or at least for the, the leaves to fall, and then there's a different kind of chore. I don't like to rake as much as I like to mow, but there's something about mowing that just instantly says, okay, I've done something. I've accomplished something here, um, and it looks better right away. You don't have to wait for it to look any better, but as much as I love mowing, there are some days when it really is a chore, when it's just something that I have to do. And there's some times over the summer where I feel like I was mowing two times a week <laughs> because it would rain and then it would be sunny and the grass would grow faster than I would want it to. Um, and so there are some times when mowing really is a chore. Uh, so yesterday was one of those days. <laughs> Um, the grass was just too tall, and I, I had a lot to do that day, but um, it was just, it was too much, and it was at the end of the day, and I was tired. But there are some days when I wake up and I say, I need to get out there and mow because it's a nice day. I want to be outside. I want to spend some time in my thoughts. I want to listen to a podcast. I want to um, enjoy the beautiful clouds in the sky. I don't know. So the, the thing about mowing is that, you know, it can be great or it can be not so great and uh and i think that's that's the way it is with a lot of things in life um that we can be really 
in a great mood one day doing something and the next day um, be not so great. <laughs> uh, and the same thing goes with our faith sometimes. Some days it's really easy to believe in God, to trust God, to um, let our faith guide us instead of um, other you know, things in our lives. And then on the other hand, there are days when our faith is just a strain, where it's a struggle, where um, we feel as if it's in vain, where we don't really know what we believe or what it matters, <laughs> what we believe. And uh, I think, you know, that's just the nature of faith. Uh, if it was easy, it wouldn't be faith, right? Um, but those days are really hard. And so I, I found the Psalm 139 that just really speaks to the up and downness of faith, I think, and, and really the Psalms in general. Uh, some days they're really happy, some days they're angry at God, some days they're crying in pain. You know, the Psalms are great in general for that kind of up and down nature of faith. So this is Psalm 139, um, and I hope it hits you in some different ways today that Maybe you catch on to some of the good things, and maybe at the end you, you catch on to some of the bad things. And um, in the very least, I hope this psalm you know speaks to your, um, your experience and your relationship with God. This is Psalm 139, and this is the NIV version. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark for you. The night will shine like the day, for a darkness is as light to you. You created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, and I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them? Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. If only you, God, would slay the wicked. Away from me, you who are bloodthirsty. They speak of you, God, with evil intent. Your adversaries misuse your name. Do I not hate those who hate you, Lord, and abhor those who are in rebellion against you? I have nothing but hatred for them. I count them my enemies. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way of the everlasting. That's a, a, a great psalm and I'd say about 80% of it is, is just positive. And then that last stanza just takes a turn. The whole time it's talking about God, you know me, you've created me. You, you make sure that my every day, my every step is a, a blessed step. And then at the end there, it says, but, but why don't you do this? Why don't you understand what I want? Why don't you uh, take care of my enemies for me? Know, know what I want after just saying that God knows everything. Um, and I, that's how I feel sometimes, right? And, and when we look at the world around us, we do wonder why God doesn't strike down our enemies sometimes, or why God, you know, in other words, why God allows bad things to happen at all, or bad people to thrive, or so many questions. Um, 
And then some days we don't have as many questions. We don't need as many questions. We, we rest in God's hope and faith and love, and that's enough. And so I long for those days. Maybe those are the same days that I wake up and I want to mow the grass. <laughs> and then other days are days when I wake up and I ask God, why did you allow my grass to grow that much overnight? Um, there are different days that we approach our faith in different ways. And that psalm and many of them capture that. So I hope that psalm spoke to you today, whether it's a good day or a bad day. Um, know that, that God is listening to us, whether we're praising God or cursing God, God is there to listen um, and to hold on, to hang on. Uh, faith is hard. It's not easy, um, especially these days, it seems. But just hang on, hang on and continue to talk to God, have a relationship with God and let that relationship do something special in our lives. I'm saying that as much to myself as I'm saying it to you. Um, so don't don't worry there. But let's pray and then let's go about our days. Uh, it looks like the sun is going to be beautiful today. So we'll hope for that. Let's pray. Holy God, we ask that you be with us in this moment. We know that you are, but when we ask, sometimes it convinces ourselves. Um, we ask that we are more confident in your presence in our lives, that our faith be up front instead of a couple priorities behind. We, we just ask for um, clarity some days. Most of all, we ask for your love to be overflowing, whatever that feels like for us, that it be in our lives, that it change the way that we feel, and that it also changes the way that we interact with the world around us. We ask for that love to be so powerful in our lives that, that we can't help but love our neighbors and love you each and every day. Whether or not our faith is full of questions or, or answers, we ask that that love guide us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, y'all. Uh, it's a, a great day. And um, again, just read the Psalms. <laughs> when you have nothing else to say to God or to, to think about, uh, take a look at some of the Psalms. All right, we'll see y'all next time.